I'm going to show you how to unvolt your Droid X or Droid 2 using DX slash D2 over clock. First you would download this from the marketplace and you click open. And you come to this screen. You can set it to set the values on boot and delay in case your overclock isn't stable. So you won't get a constant loop in your boot and it won't break your phone. I have mine at 800 megahertz right now set on the vaulted. The stock is 1 gigahertz at 56. And the stock 300 is 25. The 300 megahertz and the top one which I have set at 800 megahertz are the two you want to look at because uh, those are the two that your phone's going to be running at the most. I accidentally deleted my stock on one, gig, um, one gigahertz, but I found, I think down to 49 is stable for one gigahertz. But I've been messing around with settings, and I found 800 isn't really too much slower for general task. So I've been just using these settings for 800. Every every phone's different, so you might have different um, voltages. You might be able to go lower. You might be able to go higher on voltages. You can also overclock, which I'm going to show in a different video, performance difference and those things. But the point of this is to save battery life. And if you want to over uh, have it on the voltage most of the time, when you're not like needing the extra performance. You have it on the voltage, say battery life, I've increased my battery life up to 25%, I'm, I am could, I would think. Uh, between other apps I've used in this, I can go two days of battery life general, generally. But, it's as easy as going right here, going to manage presets. Selecting a preset, you can, I've made pretty much all of these right here up past the 1.45 are all ones I've made. You could start with the stock 1 gigahertz, 1 gigahertz which I accidentally deleted but you can do this one start here you have a preset you begin creating you will name your preset and then you can change the voltages for the different clock speeds which make it really easy And then you just set your, you will click create preset. After that, right here you can delete presets as well. You will click return. Go right here, select the one you just made. And click apply. See that. And now it's applied. And now your phone's on the voltage. As you can see, the 800 megahertz doesn't really slow down anything. So, I haven't noticed, except for um, things like emulators like PSX or Droid, it definitely slows it down. And for things like the benchmarks, it will slow it down. Like, I think two mega flops in Linpack, like uh, two or to four hundred points on Quadrant or something like that. But, anyways, that can definitely increase your battery life. I ended up on one day, on Saturday, I ended up not using my phone from, like, 8 o'clock in the morning until, like, 5 in the afternoon. Like, it was just sitting on my desk, not used at all, with the screen off. And I think it only dropped 20%. So, that's so much, 12 minutes, what, not... 10, 9 hours and only drops 20% so which is pretty good it would probably drop like most people would probably be almost dead even not using it I also forgot to tell you when you get your settings uh, what settings you think are good after you apply them you could you should have one of these benchmarks quadrant is probably the best and you run that 
if it won't pass or your phone freezes, then you need to raise your voltage on your highest frequency. And on your lower ones, if you're just like using your phone, you have your phone turned off and it just like you see it restart. That means it's not stable and also if it like freezes when you're just using it just basic apps. That also can mean your voltage is too low and it needs to be risen so it's stable. And otherwise that's the only side effect that you can get from under under volting or underclocking. If you uh don't have it stable your phone will crash and restart and other problems might occur. And sometimes you might have to do a battery pull pull to uh, reset it. So and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, a look at my other videos. I should have an overclocking one too. And show you the performance difference on that. And again, thanks for watching.